Hi Lions! I'm here with my silhouette of my Bronchiosaurus and my Pterodactyl and we are going to do some watercolors and I'm going to first put this here to the side and cut this out. I want <coughs> you guys to remember with our scissors to put your thumb through the smaller end of the scissors and then your two your middle finger and your ring finger and then we cut downward and it's always a little harder when you have smaller things so I am going to go a little bit fast with this but lions remember this is really good for your guys's fine motor skills we do a lot of cutting in our class and gluing and painting and so this is a good skill to know for kindergarten. Get him cut out here real quick. I had wanted to have a big silhouette, but when I printed this out, it just printed out all the small ones. So I'm not sure if you guys did it and it worked out for you to have a bigger silhouette. It didn't work out for me. But that's okay because we can have two cool dinosaurs. And we're just going to see how my picture comes out. And I hope tomorrow that you guys bring your art project so then we can go over it. And it'll be fun. And bring a fun joke. So then I get my glue and I'm just going to glue it on. And I have some easy, this one's real easy. And it has this little thing for the glue. So I'm going to put him kind of in the sky. And this bronchiosaurus down here. And I'm going to paint around them. He's going to be over here. And you know what I didn't do, Lions? I didn't put my name on it. You guys always put your name on it. And we're going to, I'm just going to start with, I want kind of like a sunset in the background. Ooh, yellow. Lots of water. I have a bigger brush because I wanted some bigger strokes. My yellow, I'd like it to be a little bit darker. fill that one up and then I'm gonna go for let's see orange don't mind my dog that is my dog Lester and I think I showed you guys him on pet day he's old and he has no teeth <laughs> So, ooh, lots of nice orange. I might darken this up later. One more time with the orange. And I'm gonna put it in the water. What am I gonna go for next? Let's see. Blue, sounds nice. I wonder if you guys remember our, <clears throat> ooh, that looks pretty, huh? Our Roy G. Biv. I have a little glue there. I'm just going to wipe that right here. Um, Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I like blue. And that was the rain rainbow colors. And we learned that song, I think, right before we left school. Rainbow, rainbow. I'm not doing it in order, but I am doing rainbow colors. These guys are coming under. Stay in there, guys. More green. Oh, I think this is going to look so cool, guys. Let's put red. I hope you guys are doing lots of art at home. It's so good for you, good for your soul, good for your 
skills, your fine motor skills, your gross motor skills, just good for you all around. The purple. Purple. There's my pterodactyl and bronchiosaurus. I hope you guys enjoyed the dinosaur curriculum this week. It was kind of fun. And I like doing all these things with my kids and they like it. <clears throat> I think we'll go back to yellow. And let's see. I really like blue. I'm going to do blue again. So take your time. I'm going a little bit faster just because I want to make a just kind of a short, sweet video. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. So bring it, bring an art project tomorrow, Lions, and bring one of your favorite jokes or a funny joke you learn. Okay, we'll talk about jokes and art. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.